Malik from Knack Training, and in today's Everyday Office, I'm going to explain how to put styles into all different facets of our Word document when the original authors of that document weren't thinking it through in that way. So let me explain the idea. Right now, I have this uh, text here that's labeled an introduction, and this is a heading within my document. And I can, if I zoom out here, I should be able to see other headings as well. Supernova special situations, supernova, supernovas and star clusters. But every time I go to one of these headings, one of these things that is definitely the head of a section within my document, and I highlight it, I look up here in the top right hand corner at my styles and I notice as far as Microsoft Word is concerned, this is just all the normal style in this document. And the problem with that is that what happens when I decide that the text of an introduction and the text of supernovas and star clusters and so many of these other ones need to be updated in some way, need to be bolded or need to be a different size. If I have to do that, I have to sort of go all through my entire document and find every instance of it, which is going to be tedious at best. Painful, really painful at worst. And so the best way to do this is to take all of those items through here that are headings and actually convert them into what Microsoft considers to be heading one, or in the case of this text over here on the right, uh, heading two. Now, to do this, the fastest possible way is to identify what is common about my headings. And you can see here that the text of an introduction is 18 point text, and supernovas and star clusters is 18 point text. Supernova special situations, this second level heading is 14 point text. And as I go through here, I'd be able to see the exact same thing over and over and over again. 14 point text for my second level headings and 18 point text for my first level headings. So to make this happen, what I do is I use find and replace. You can use the keyboard shortcut control H on your keyboard to make this happen. I'm just going to hit the replace button here. And I'm not going to find some chunk of text that I'm typing in. I'm not going to replace it with a chunk of text. Instead, I click on more down here in the bottom left and I want to find a formatting choice. So I'm going to go to the find what box, confirm that that's the thing I'm trying to work on first. And I'm going to say, okay, the thing I'm trying to find is every bit of 18 point text in my document. So I go to the format drop down menu down here in the bottom left hand corner, and I see that font is one of my options. So I choose font, then I say anytime that you see 18 point text, that's what I'm interested in. Then I click OK. And now what do I replace it with? Notice I didn't put any content in here. The content is not what's relevant. The formatting is what's relevant. So here, replace with. Well, I don't want to replace it with like 24 point text. What I want to do is I want to go to format and choose style because I'm specifically going out of my way to apply that heading one style. So I choose style. I choose heading one and I click OK. And now if I just hit replace all, it'll go through my document, find every instance of that 18 point text and replace it. There were three replacements there, click OK. Now I'll do the same thing for 14 point text. I'll go here to find what? Choose format, then font. Choose 14 point font as the thing I'm interested in and click OK. And replace with is not heading one, but now heading two. So I go replace with, click on format, choose style, replace it with heading two. There it is. Click OK. And replace all. And two replacements were found. So now I'm going to close this off. And you know, the thing that always gets people is uh, they want these things to look a particular way. So you can always go to any one of these things, right click on heading two and say update heading two so that it looks like what I've got selected. And you can highlight anything that should be a heading one, right click on heading one, update heading one to match it so it looks like what I've selected. 
And now the benefit here is, let's say I go to heading one, right click on it and choose modify. And now I decide that it should be, I don't know, Cambria bold 20, 24 point font and I click OK, you can see it applied to an introduction, you can see it applied to supernovas and star clusters, and you can see it applied to in conclusion. Again, right click on heading two, modify it. Let's say it's Cambria, bold, 18 point font, click OK. And everything that was that heading one now has that formatting choice. It's a much smarter solution to the problem.